I'm Darren. And I'm Barry. We're demonstrators at Melbourne Observatory. We've been doing the tours here since uh, 1999. So we've done probably uh, over a thousand tours now. In the 1860s, when this observatory was built, the Botanic Gardens was two kilometres from the city in a country park. So, and it was on a bit of a hill. So this site was chosen for those reasons. This is not necessarily a good place to do astronomy now. It's a convenient place to do astronomy, but it's very difficult to look at faint objects here almost in the middle of the city. There's too much light pollution. The, the dome itself rolls along genuine cannonballs. It doesn't have wheels. It's, um, these are the cannonballs from a fort at Williamstown. Take the, um, the, the shutter opening into the position where we want to look. But by, by chance, telescope's looking out through it now. This clock was, um, it's from the 1850s, but it's, um, it was also the standard timepiece for Melbourne. So all Melbourne's clocks were referenced back to this clock. And this clock was kept accurate by the observations of the observatory at Williamstown, uh, before the observatory moved up to, to Melbourne. Certainly one of the oldest publicly owned clocks, yeah. Some instruments are classified by the National Trust and uh, it's, not, uh, it's not possible to alter them significantly. I mean, we, we could put modern digital cameras on board and uh, take pictures of what we're looking at, but uh, it, it couldn't be a, a permanent um, alteration to the telescope or the buildings. People who look at the sky for the very first time are amazed, particularly when they look at the moon or one of the planets. It is a different experience and most people say to see with your own eyes the real object magnified. You're giving someone an experience they cannot have without a telescope. You can't with your own eyes see the detail that you can see through a telescope and that that awakens your interest in the world a little bit more. I can't speak French, uh, uh, I can speak a little bit of German, but not French. <laughs>